Hey y'all, it's Kelly with Dixie Darlings and I'm back with another tutorial for y'all today. I'm gonna be using the Dixie Darlings Artist Foil and Glitter Tape. So it's kind of the double-sided adhesive tape that you've seen. I'm gonna cover a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven and then I'm gonna apply some foils to it and then we're gonna dip, drip some alcohol inks over that. So I'm gonna be using some Woody's goodies, some white alcohol inks, then I spritz a little alcohol on it to kind of create these sails um, that I love seeing. This is by no means anything that I came up with. There's some beautiful work that has been done out there. I am just kind of giving y'all my take on it and showing you guys how I work through the process. Um, I will link all the products that I use in the description box below, so make sure you check out that box for the links, and I'll also include some discount codes for y'all. And I'm going to be showing y'all several different variations. I layered alcohol inks over foils on several different cups, and I'll show you where I do spritz some alcohol on it, um, where you can kind of see where it creates the cells. I actually do a template and then layer some alcohol inks over it. And then I just did another solid wrap with some alcohol inks over it that I did not do the cell creations on that with the alcohol. So I'm going to show you several different variations today. I hope that y'all enjoy it. And like I always say, hop on over to my Dixie Darlings Facebook group. That's where I go live every Sunday night. Um, I get to interact with you guys. Y'all get to tell me what it is you want to see me do, what I can do to help y'all. So hop over there and join us. Um, it's at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday night, but hop over there and say hey and interact with all the other Dixie Darlings. Um, thank y'all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, y'all, we're starting with a 20 ounce skinny straight. This was actually spray painted a cardinal color, this Rust Oleum 2X. And I put a template on it. I didn't like it. I pulled the template off, but I decided I was just going to go ahead. Since this is going to be a solid full wrap, I'm using my Dixie Darlings Artist Full and Glitter Tape here. And I've actually cut that on my Cricut. Um, I have the Air Explorer and I use the paper minus setting and I put the pressure at 300. If you have a Silhouette or a Cricut Maker, I believe it's the washi setting that everyone's using to cut these sheets. And for the 20 ounce skinny straight, you're gonna cut that at a 9.31 by eight inches. Um, I just take a square and basically size it to that and that's what's gonna fit your Craft Haven 20 ounce skinny straight. So you've seen that I've placed the double-sided adhesive tape. I just cut the edge section off. If you've seen me do this before, you've seen that I just take a little strip of it off, cut that off, then place that down on the cup, wrap it around to make sure it's gonna sit square on the cup. And then I continue to pull the backing off of this tape and I do it as I'm applying it to the cup. So I just allow the pressure be placing it on the cup to peel the backing off at the same time, just so I don't end up with a big sticky mess. And then once I get that around, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it down. I kind of have a way of doing this where I hold it with one end and just kind of run my thumb down on the other side. A lot of you guys use squeezy, squeegees, which will work as well. Now this is gonna be the Wild West Foils from Southern Bell Glitter. This was in the Dixie Darlings um, collection box. It is available now um, at Southern Bell Glitter for purchase individually, not in the box. So I wanted this to be the center section here with the cowhide in the center. So I'm gonna lay that down exactly halfway around the cup from where my seam is to make sure that I have that. And it doesn't create a mismatched seam here if I'm gonna do it this way. So here I'm just trimming the edge of the double-sided adhesive tape off and I peel a little section off. Then I place the foil down right here, just that one little edge. I like to get that started so I can make sure that that's gonna be square on the cup. Then I'm gonna take my weeding tool here and continue to pull the top section of the double-sided adhesive tape off. And then just like I applied the tape to the cup, now I'm gonna apply the foil to the tape. So you can see I usually hold it with one side and just run my thumb down, that way I'm not getting any creases in it.
once I've got it all the way around, I do have, this is just a wooden burnishing stick that comes with the Southern Bell Glitter Transfers. You can use a popsicle stick, you can use your squeegee, whatever you guys use to make sure that anything's firmly adhered to the cup, whether it be vinyl, your uh, artist foil and glitter tape, your foils. Um, this is just something that comes in every pack of transfers, so I keep several of them handy, and it seems to work well applying the foil to the double-sided adhesive tape. But you can see how well this one transfers. You can see that it's pretty solid. If you pull it up and there's little places that um, don't transfer to the tape, then you can just lay it back down. And I like to do this before I peel the whole thing off. That way, if there's any of those little places that didn't adhere, they still line up correctly and you haven't pulled the whole sheet up and then you're trying to go back and fix them after the fact. So that's just a lesson that I've learned. Um, I kind of try to leave it attached to the cup as long as I can, just so your lines match up if you need to go back and correct in those places that maybe didn't adhere. Then I will tell you that after I've placed this down, I do apply a layer of Countercultures Quick Coat. Um, you don't see me do that here, but you'll see me do it again later. Um, but I do use that step before I go in and lay, add a layer of epoxy. I have just really fought with the bottoms of these cups sometimes and places that the foils don't adhere to the tape. And sometimes that will tend to repel epoxy. So for me, instead of creating a lot of work on the back end for me, I just kind of start with, okay, let me just go ahead and seal it with a little bit of Countercultures Quick Coat to make things a little bit easier on the other end. And then after that dries, really by the time I apply a thin layer to the cup, I go back and mix up my epoxy. It's ready to apply the epoxy. It's dry. So I do use Countercultures Medium Viscosity. I use about 20 milliliters to cover this. I just want a very thin coat um, before I'm going to go in and apply my alcohol inks here. And after I've applied this coat, I'm going to go right in and I like to use Pinata's Blanco. It's just a really good white. It tends to, se it tends to separate really well. Um, all my other alcohol inks I use are from Woody's Goodies. I do have the links to those in the description box below. But the white, um, I don't water it down. I've had a lot of people ask me, do I water it down? Do I do anything different? No, I just put this. I just buy these little clear bottles and they have the syringe tips because I like to apply it that way. I buy a big bottle of the alcohol inks and I just put it in this little dropper. Um, just mainly because I like to control things more and it seems with little drops it just seems to kind of create more of the effect of what I'm looking for so after I've applied the drops of white and I kind of just sporadically laid them on the cup I am going to go in with Woody's goodies uh, Hansel uh, this is a goal that actually came in the storybook series. So a lot of people have been to the website and looked for just this goal. It is in a set of alcohol inks called the storybook set. There are beautiful colors in there. Today you're going to see me use Hansel. You're going to see me use Queen of Hearts and then also a blue that's Prince Charming. So while they are in a set, I can assure you that every one of these colors is so worth it. I don't know if any of you have used the Micas in the Storybook series, but those are my favorite Micas, every color in there. And now she's created a set of alcohol inks. They're also Storybook and the shine and just the concentration of them. You'll see them in this cup. The gold is one of the prettiest gold alcohol inks I've ever seen. So I, lo I have loved using it. It has both Hansel and Gretel that are two different shades of gold. And I absolutely love both of them as well as the Queen of Hearts, which has actually been my favorite mica to this point. It's a beautiful copper color. I was so glad when she came out with it in an alcohol ink. And you'll see here, um, it's just so beautiful. I thought it was the perfect mix for the gold and the white in this cup. And then just to bring out a little bit of pop of the turquoise, I am gonna add the Prince Charming, which is a really pretty blue, but it blends well with the cup.
after I've just kind of sporadically dropped these over, you can see in some of the white places, I placed the gold right over it. Some of them I placed the copper over it. I'm just gonna take my heat gun here and I'm just blowing it up and down. I don't want them to run vertically around the cup like that um, or horizontally around the cup. I wanna blow it up and down a little bit just so you get a little movement in the alcohol inks. So I'm just gonna kind of let you guys see me work through the process. I tried not to delete much out of this just so you guys could see it in real time too. Um, how long it, you know I spent doing each step in this. I am going to go back in and add a little bit more of the Panada uh, Blanco and then the gold and the Queen of Hearts color here, but I'll caution you this, don't let too much time lapse in between because what will happen, and make sure that you mix up your alcohol inks really good because if not, they'll start to separate and it'll create a very different look than what you originally had placed on the cup. I find that once the your epoxy started to set, they just don't separate out the same way. And sometimes you'll get a tendency to get kind of streaky lines in it afterwards, um, or they clump up a little bit. So I just caution you, like if you do go back and add some in, I always try to make sure to do this very quickly and make sure that there hasn't been too much time elapsed where it starts to look totally different than your original placement of the alcohol inks. because I don't want to add any more heat you know I don't want them to start running too much I'm actually going to take this off my turner and I do use the Bowen turner I love them because they're so easy to get your cup chucks off and on and I'm just going to pull this off it just has a little screw that you can kind of tighten and untighten um, so I just I'm going to untighten that pull it off I'm going to hold it up I'm going to add a little bit of heat in places that I want it to separate out a little bit more you can see here as I'm holding it I'm still going to add a little bit of heat and try to manipulate this and then I'm going to turn the cup the other way to kind of get it to run down before I place it back on the turner and if it's not looking like you want it to you can always reverse if you have a turner where you can reverse um, the way the cup's turning you can do that several times I kind of just keep going with the heat um, but more so the movement of the cup until I get it to do what I want it to do. Because if you do add too much heat here, you know, your colors will start to spin and they'll start to run together more than really what I want to. rubbing alcohol and I have it in a little bottle I'm actually gonna take a little sprayer and I'm gonna spritz it you can see I actually just sit this on top of my alcohol bottle I, it doesn't really fit that bottle but you can actually just fill up the, the little piece there and spritz it on the cup because I don't want too much but you can see as I'm spritzing it on the cup it's starting to, to create these cells and I would say I wanted to do a lot on this cup because I really wanted to break up the alcohol ink so you could see the, the foil pattern underneath. But to each his own on this, you can add as much as you want or as little as you want. Um, and you'll see this in different variations on the other cups that I'll show you at the end. Um, on one of them, I just added a little bit. One of them, I didn't add any. And this one, I added a pretty good amount. And it actually ends up looking almost like a power wash here. Um, is what it, what it made me think of when I started adding more and more alcohol ink. It started breaking it up enough to where it almost mimicked uh, what it looks like when we do the power wash technique on cups. 
So then after I've let that dry, this takes about six to eight hours to dry. I am going to go in with a layer of Quick Coat just because I added some alcohol um, to that final layer. I'm going in with Counter Cultures Quick Coat. You can see I just basically have a little squeeze ball. I put a little bit in. I rub it all over. And this is mainly just to make sure that there's no spots where the alcohol maybe was still sitting on the cup that um, will keep my next coat of epoxy from repelling. Then I do go in and add another layer of epoxy. I use medium viscosity artist resin and I did 20 milliliters. And I let that coat dry as well for six to eight hours. I wanted to smooth out any of those places um, where the alcohol inks maybe it caused little ridges before I went in to add my transfer. Now this is a boho floral transfer from Southern Bell Glitter. Y'all have probably seen me use a lot of these transfers. I love them. They're so easy to use. The color's so vibrant in them. And I've been doing a lot of Southwest themes, but on this one, I wanted to add a little floral. And this coloring just went perfect with the cup. You can see here, I just kind of trim it out because they come in sheets. And I just trim out what I want. I'm going to lay it down on the cup on the very edge and then I just press down. I'm gonna, again, take my burnishing stick. And again, I tried to leave this in real time so you guys could really see how much time I spend. I really take my time to make sure that the transfers adhere to the cup. Um, there also can get little bubbles in there. Um, I have a lot of people say they have a hard time getting them to transfer. Usually if you can get this, the first part to transfer over, it'll start. If you can get it started, it'll go pretty smooth. But sometimes there are little bubbles and little lines that create. So you'll see me kind of do just like I do with the foils. I'll pull it up and I'll see if there's any places that I need to re-adhere. I can either run them down with, you know, if you wanted to your squeegee, whatever. You can see sometimes I do it with my fingernail if I think it's just a little place that needs to apply. And, but I do it while the original backing right there, the top part is still on there. So to make sure I can just press it back down and press down. And if you see those little bubbles, you can take your um, X-Acto knife or whatever and just barely touch it and then smooth it down. But I try to do most of that with my burnishing stick as I'm applying it. And then after I pull that top off, you can see that here, I just press it down with my finger to make sure it's smooth. And then a lot of people ask me about sealing them. I did not seal, I do not seal my transfers. I went straight into a layer of epoxy before I had my finished design. I did use medium viscosity artist resin again, um, about 20 milliliters, and you've got our final design. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna show you this one, and then I'm also gonna show you another one where I did not do the sales, but I did the same colors. I did the Gretel and the white. I did not do the copper, just the Gretel and the white. And then also another one that I did over a template design. So you guys will see all those here. Um, please feel free to ask any questions and make sure you check out the links below to also get your discount codes.